Meteorologist Joe Hansel here with your National Severe Weather Threats on this Tuesday, November 9th, and I actually want to time travel to tomorrow and talk about Wednesday first. Areas of the South Central United States, it's been a while since we've talked about a threat for severe weather, so uh, hopefully you haven't been napping that there's still potential out there in November for Wednesday, late afternoon, Wednesday night, Oklahoma City, down south to Dallas, uh, also areas of South Central Kansas, margin risk of severe weather, some isolated large hail and damaging winds can't be ruled out when a cold front swings on through tomorrow. So today, since it's a quiet weather day in your region, yeah, plenty of time to know where your safe place is going to be if severe weather does happen to strike. 75 in Dallas, 72 in Washington, D.C., basically the central and eastern United States, very quiet today. All the active weather is pretty much in the western third of the nation, in the Intermountain West, and almost from coast to coast, we have one single surface front that is just kind of weaving north and south across this lower 48 United States. So it's uh, weather's kind of connected across much of the nation today. Find your color, rain, storms, wintry mixes, mountain snow for much of the western United States is expected. No severe weather today, but Seattle, Washington might get a couple of rumbles of thunder with some of those passing showers and possible thunderstorms today. Wind advisories, high wind warnings this morning for much of central and eastern Oregon in the tan and yellow shades there. Winter weather advisories in the purple, winter storm warnings today in the pink shade for heavy snow, especially in the higher elevations. In terms of rain, we could definitely see some half inch to inch totals with locally heavier amounts. So be mindful of some very localized flash flooding west of the Cascade Mountains in Oregon and Washington. Snow today through tonight, generally 6 to 16 inches in the highest elevations of the Olympics. The Cascade Mountains winter storm warning wraps up this morning for the Sierra Nevada for about a foot and a foot and a half of snow. And I'll watch for that rain and mountain snow to progress eastward through tomorrow.